Welcome to the Easily tutorial. With this program, you can make something called an infographic, which is a visual way of showing something that you want to quickly to someone else. So we're going to start here by logging in. This one will use our Google account that you have. And again, I'm going to use my school account. You can start with a blank template or you can modify an existing template. So you have lots of choices. Kids sometimes will pick things that make no sense. Just tell them to kind of think about does the color in the background make sense to what you're doing. You have categories that you can choose from over here. This might help, for example, if you're going to do a comparison. One the kids like is this one over here. So I clicked on it. Now, if you notice, each word here is a different section. So you can click on it and type what you want. You can go teachers. Other. other school teachers. Now these are both way too big, so I'm going to highlight it. Reduce the font size, it's still too big. Find something that works. Now, close that. Okay. And Make sure when we do this that we get rid of the other text. So basically this program, the kids can, again, practice adjusting things. Set them where you like. I'll move that in a second. So again, it's just a matter of, of doing the same type of things that you do with Google Docs and such to find what you want. A lot of times, click outside the box. Gotta fix that. All right, let's adjust this. Okay. So again, it just takes a little bit of a little bit of work of finding what you want. Click on it and. Highlight it all. What is the difference between a Greenville teacher and a teacher at another school? So you can put what you want here. And again, it's already kind of set up for stuff, so you just Select it, and again, a little sensitive here, but get the idea. So we're going to highlight that, and I wish the grammarly would stop clicking in. All right. So we're going to erase this. We need a lot of coffee. All right. What do they do? They need fancy, expensive Starbucks. So again, the process is pretty much this. Um, click on stuff. If you want to add your own text, you would physically drag this box to the thing and then you can type. If you want to add an object, you can search for 
different things that you like to include in here. Uh, some of them are pro, so you can't just have them um, unless you take a screenshot. Um, let's see what we do want to add. There are a bunch of things, education. So we could add an apple instead of that. Click it, drag it the size you want. I'm going to get rid of the shoe because I don't want the shoe. Again, just click and drag, put it where you want. Not too high. Find where like if you like it, lock it in. I like that, lock it in. If you want to move it later, just unlock it. So along with most of these programs, drag objects, media. If you have a picture from outside on your desktop that you want to include or such. Um, the line tool, it's exactly what it is. You click it and drag it here. And you can connect things if you like. You can do a squiggly line. Again, the text, drag it to where you want if, you, if it's not already on the document. So it's pretty straightforward. It's a good way of having the kids visually share things, especially if you can do comparisons. These are really good for putting one thing on one side and on the other. And the key thing is simplicity with visuals. When you're done, this one you want to make sure you save. You can change name up here. Maybe not add that capital E. Save it. And it's pretty straightforward. At this point, if you want to download it, if you are using the free version, it will only let you do low quality. Export my work is a proprietary file that only this program will open up. Um, I do think print to PDF works. Or if the kids know how, you can do a screenshot and then you can just upload that to Classroom or wherever you want them to send it. Pretty straightforward. The kids uh, are pretty good at figuring out once they play with it for a few minutes. And um, at this point, I would just have them have them play with the first project for fun and then have them do something real. That's it.